Hi guys, in today's video we are going to be taking a look at 10 small details you may have missed in the town centre region of Plants vs Zombies Battle for Neighbourville. So this video was initially going to be focused on the posters you can find in the game, but whilst I was searching for them I began to notice loads of little details in the map that I'd never noticed before. I think it's easy to forget how much work goes into level and world design, making an imaginary place feel alive and lived in takes a lot of thinking and planning. It was actually nice to appreciate some of the details that gets put into video game worlds. As usual, just before we begin, remember to hit those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoy the content on this channel and want to help it grow. Anyway, let's get started. So number one is fish in the water. Although from a first glance, there may not look like there's much going on with the Battle for Neighborville's water, but when you look a bit closer in some areas, you will actually see little fish swimming about. Cactus got a little excited and tried to jump in after the fish. It did not end well. Number two is related to the bus shelters that can be found across the map. There are lots of bus shelters, but you may have not noticed the bus route poster that can be found inside them. Not only does the poster include PVZ's usual humour, such as some of the routes being called things like Not So New Line, it actually shows locations of places in town centre like the museum, for example. Number three is the location of the aeroplanes that go around Giddy Park with their banners that have had a bug pretty much since launch. If you go on top of the KPVN radio station and use your garlic drone, you can actually see one of the planes, which is pretty cool. Number four is this human animation that can be found in some of the houses. If you look closely at the window with the shutters on, you can see a guy looking through them with an understandably concerned face, especially considering there was a giant cactus staring at him. Number five is related to this tunnel collapse incident with the big truck. Now at a glance, this looks like a pretty standard tunnel collapse with debris and rocks everywhere. But if you look closely, the pile of rubble is actually made up of loads of toilets that seem to have had something to do with the crash. There's also some toilet roll, which I thought was pretty funny considering the current events in the real world. Number six is that the gas or petrol station actually has an interior. So most of the houses in town center just use an image to give an impression of an interior, but the petrol station actually has a proper 3D interior with a realistic shop layout with things on the shelves, etc. There's even a TV with sound effects that you can hear if you get close enough. You can also apparently fill your car up with lemonade. Do not try that at home. I can't imagine it would end very well. Number seven is bird poop. That's right, PopCap included bird poop with many of the big birds' nests you can find across town center. Number eight, sticking with the poop theme, there are actually little flies with sound effects that surround dustbins and bin bags just to gross you out a bit further. Number nine is one of my favorites. Some of the magazine racks in town center not only have magazines on them, but the magazine covers are images of the official Plants vs. Zombies comic book covers. The final one is going back to the water and there are a few details you will notice if you head down to the beach. The first one is the boys or bowies, however you say it, actually bob in the water. Also there is this little boat that moves in the background as well as some subtle wave animations which are a nice touch. Anyway guys, that's about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what your favourite small detail was in the comments below. But other than that, remember to subscribe and I shall see you in the next one. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.